everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see from the title of today's video, we are doing a deep cleaning video today. But before we get started with today's video, I would like to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Scentbird. I love Scentbird. If you don't know what Scentbird is, it is a company that has a fragrance subscription service. So if you're like me and you have a lot of animals and you spend all day cleaning and as soon as you're done cleaning, you want to take a shower and smell as good as possible because you were sweating and you were disgusting. These fragrances are here. They're here for you. So every single month you get to choose a new designer fragrance for only $17, which helps you try to find new scents that you may possibly like. Helps you broaden your horizons and try new things, which is definitely what they have done for me. So let me show you real quickly the scents that I got. I am obsessed with them. So as you can see here, they come in these awesome little containers. Travel friendly, perfect size for your bag. And you just twist it up like this. You can take the scent out like this, see which one it is. It's just really, really simple and easy. So this is the scent that is in here, but it smells so good. I literally have been spraying it on myself every day since getting it. I am newly obsessed with this scent. Look at this packaging absolutely beautiful the next scent that i got is this one right here then we have just bloom and my last personal favorite is buttercup babe by kenzie first of all the packaging of the actual perfume itself is stunning it smells so good it's flexible so you can skip any month without any penalties you can also upgrade to receive two to three products a month if you would like to receive more with each fragrance you get about a 30 day supply which is great to try out a new fragrance to see if you want to buy the full bottle definitely definitely going to be buying a full bottle of this once i run out because i love it there are over 600 designer brands like prada gucci versace buttercup babe is full of floral scents and it smells just like the springtime. It's just very like relaxing and cozy when I'm wearing it. I just love it so much. So I definitely have to say that this one's my favorite. And if you want to try Scentbird for yourself, I definitely recommend trying these two scents right here because I'm obsessed with these. So if you guys are interested in checking out Scentbird for yourself, which I definitely, definitely recommend, make sure to click the link down below and use my code PETS 55 to get 55% off your first month with Scentbird. That's only $8. $8 for your first month and you get a huge fragrance. And Scentbird is now available in Canada. So if you live in Canada, you'll be able to get some for yourself. So once again, thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring this video and let's get right into it. And this is going to be a part one of an entire like transformation video. I know I recently did a transformation where I built all of these stacked cages for my guinea pigs. And that's basically what inspired me to do this whole other transformation because these cages have been built and done. So I'm not gonna go into the full specifics in this video because this one's mainly going to be cleaning, but I'm actually going to be putting the guinea pigs into the other pet room. And then the bunnies are gonna go into my bedroom and then my bedroom is going to be this room. So I'm switching three rooms around um, where this room is going to become my master bedroom because now that their cages are stacked cages, they will fit perfectly in the other room. And I honestly, I just want my master bedroom for myself. Um, most people give the master bedroom to themselves. Um, so I'm gonna be a little selfish. <laughs> the guinea pigs are still gonna have the same size cages. They're just gonna be in a different room. This is going to be part one of me deep cleaning the closet and also the bathroom here to prepare for the whole transformation that I think I'm going to be doing this weekend. I figured the first step is cleaning the bathroom and the closet because those are the rooms that are actually messy. Um, the pet room itself is pretty clean. I tend to keep the cages pretty clean. I spot clean every two days. Everything else is clean. It's just these rooms here. So let me show you what they look like. All right, so this is the master bathroom and here's the master closet. So let me show you what they look like. They are a complete mess. And I also have a gnat problem. I have had this problem since I moved in, basically. I've had an exterminator here. I kill them all the time and they just keep reproducing. So if anybody has any recommendations, I have like little vinegar traps and everything, but it doesn't really kill all of them. Just need to completely deep clean this bathroom so I can really, really focus on getting rid of all of these gnats that are in here. They are specifically attracted to 
this bathroom and also the guinea pigs litter boxes, which is very frustrating. <laughs> so yeah, um, I have a lot of like cleaning supplies and stuff that I keep on the counter. All of this stuff over here is pretty much just trash that at the time my trash can outside was full. So I just kind of threw it all in here and I was like, I'll do it later. And then I just didn't end up doing that. Number one tip, if you want to keep rooms clean, don't throw them off and do them later because you probably won't go back and do them later. Then over here, I just have dirty guinea pig laundry. So this is what I'm going to tackle first because I want to get all of this washed and clean because I have not used this stuff for like months. I've just kept it in here because I just don't like walking in here. And here's more dirty laundry. And then over here in the closet is mainly just boxes as well. So the boxes are going to go in the trash. And then I have some more dirty laundry here. It really isn't that bad in here. I just need to organize everything and then clean the floor. I should probably actually just tackle the closet first since it's the least amount of stuff that I have to do. And then we'll focus on doing the bathroom. I am going to be wearing gloves and also a mask the entire time that I clean because these gnats freak me out. Um, I've never had any type of like bug problem. I don't know how they got in. I don't know where they came in from, but <laughs> they just... They won't go away and gnats are the most annoying bug because they're so tiny and they just are everywhere and I just hate it. I hate it so much. So yeah, I am just going to speed up this whole thing, um, show you guys a before and after, listen to an audiobook while I clean and that's that. So let's go ahead and let's get started with the closet first. I've been doing this for like two hours now. Here is the closet. As you can see, the floor is completely clean. I'm actually gonna Swiffer all of the floors too, but that's gonna be in the next video when everything is out of here. So I'm gonna be keeping like the storage units and some of the stuff that's not as important to be in the pet room. So like the little play pins and stuff I'll keep in here, but all of like the pee pads and the laundry and stuff that you see is going to be going into a different closet, the closet where the bunnies are gonna be in. And this closet's gonna be for like my clothes and my shoes and extra storage and stuff like that. So this is gonna be completely different in the next video, but for right now, we have all the laundry. So this is pretty much done. The bathroom is not completely done, but I am very happy with it right now. So I've been, what I've been doing to catch the gnats is I've been spraying the mirror with the spick and span and the gnats have been sticking themselves to the mirror. I don't even know if you can see them and killing themselves. So that's been working a lot. I also had a cute little spider in the corner that was killing a lot of the gnats for me. I did not kill the little spider since she was helping me, but I did put her outside. So the spider did not die. She was pretty big. So I didn't really want her living in here with me, but she was helping me kill the little gnats and stuff. Um, next, I need to scrub down the shower in the bathtub. I already have three hampers full of dirty laundry right now, so I'm doing my laundry. And as soon as my hampers free up, I'm gonna finish doing all of this. 
and then I'm going to scrub and completely deep clean the shower and the bathtub. So I'm very, very proud of my progress. I'll update you guys later when I start doing the laundry. Okay guys, it has been, I think a week since I last updated you guys. I was, I was telling you guys that I was going to clean the bathtub and then like show you. And I never did because a lot happened as you can see from the decor and everything behind me. Um, the bathroom is now usable. It is my main bathroom now. I am currently in the master bedroom. My bed's in here. I am now living in the master bedroom. So a lot has happened. Me and my parents switched everything around in one day. We stayed up until like one in the morning finishing everything and it took forever. So I'm not gonna do a tour of the bathroom. I actually filmed a Patreon exclusive video of me decorating. So I'm not going to do like a tour or anything. I'm just gonna show you what the bathtub looks like and show you that it is clean. And I'm also going to show you the new pet room closet and all of the laundry that I had to do. I had six bags, like black trash bags full of dirty animal laundry that I had to do. And I did it all. All of the animal laundry is now completely clean and everything is in a new closet. And in the future, I'm going to be doing a new pet room tour because I have two new pet rooms now. I can show you the closet too. The closet has my clothes in it and I'll go ahead and show you. It is behind this mountain of Halloween stuff, but this closet is now a walk-in closet for my own clothes. <laughs> It is not a pet room closet anymore. There is some pet stuff kind of shoved in the corner back there. I have all this Halloween stuff that I bought, which is gonna be a haul on my main channel. So I have this all in here. Some witch stuff, jackets, long sleeve shirts, my tiny collection of short sleeve shirts, shoes, pants, dirty clothes, all that fun stuff. This is now my closet, so no more pet stuff. I'm filming on my phone because I realized I didn't even show you guys the bathtub. So here's the bathtub. Squeaky clean, been using it for like three weeks now. Got curtains and decor and here's the shower. Show the shower to you guys. Completely clean. And then, yeah, it's clean now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know it was kind of a teaser for future content. I'm gonna do a full pet room tour of the new pet room and also the bunny room in a future video. So make sure to subscribe down below. Let me know if you guys want to see that. And I also will be doing a meet my pets video very soon. Um, as many of you guys know, I have a lot of animals. So the meet my pets video is going to take a couple of days or even a week to film. So I've been kind of mentally preparing myself for the meet my pets video. So you guys keep asking, there will be one, I promise. But for right now, I just don't really have time to do like a full sit down meet my pets video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.